St. George, Utah, where Mark is on the line. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Mark. How you guys doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? All right, I want to talk to you guys about a little uh, physics question I got for you. Like, uh, I've called you guys in the past. Um, I'm one of the flattered guys that, uh, that, that, that used to call, but I uh, haven't called in a while. And I wanted to talk about the, the spin of the Earth and um, sort of the, the idea of, of centrifugal or centripetal forces. Seriously? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem with it. I just, you know, right. when, when we get into sciencey technical subjects, it's very important to keep things as understandable to the average person as possible. And, this- and also, if you've got a you know, physics-related question, Asking talk show hosts that aren't physicists is yeah. probably not the best way to get the correct answer. Was it a question or was it you just wanted to talk about it? He said he had a question. It? Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Well, it wasn't so much a question. It was, uh, it was something to think about. Uh, so if you have um, the Earth as a spinning ball, right, um, at the equator, you're traveling at 1,000 miles an hour. Is, is, the, is the spin of the of the Earth at the equator is a thousand okay. miles an hour, and um, so if you assume that gravity, from what they say, is is equal across all points of the Earth, pulling they don't say the that. Center. Oh, you don't say that. Okay. No, well, the, neither do physicists, assume. and neither do the oh, geologists. They don't say, they don't no, they do not say is, that gravity is, is equal. There's really? less gravity. There's equal? slightly less gravity the farther away you get from the equator. See, I'm glad we had somebody who paid attention in school and in the then, studio. Uh, mountainy. I I do know that you know places where the crust of the Earth is thicker. There's going to be fluctuations in gravity just mm-hmm. because it's further away from the center. Yeah, of I would also imagine the that the closer you get to the center, the more gravity there is. But I don't. I can't vouch for that. And the moon affects the uh, the tides, right? So the Correct. moon's probably playing a role in all well, that too. I, I don't think that the flat earthers believe that the moon exists. Wait, are you jumping to a conclusion that this caller is a flat earther? He already he said, said he, he was. was. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. When did that, that was happen? at the beginning yeah. of the call? <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. okay. I, just, so, I just thought um, he, he called in because he wanted to talk about like geeky science stuff. Now it's going to be ridiculous. All right, go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so um, well, my my question is actually related to centripetal forces uh, or centrifugal forces. And so at the equator, you have a you have a faster spin than you do at like let's say the North Pole, right? And that and that creates mm-hmm. a centrifugal force that tends to push things off. Meaning that you know, at like like let's let's say you were at sea level, so we're we're going to make it equal to the distance of the Earth. Relatively. So what you're go- so hold on, um, w- without getting into all the math, what what it sounds like you're saying here is he's that-, that the Earth doesn't spin at the north and south pole, which is absurd because the entire Earth well, is I'm, spinning. I'm saying that I'm saying that the the centrifugal effect is going to be less at the center than it is at the edges because. If you take a like like for instance a wet ball and you spin it, like water flings off from the center but doesn't fling off from the top and the bottom. Uh, yeah, and but the, so the ball is, also don't have gravity. Right. Well, the ball has a very small amount of uh, of gravity yes. compared to the Earth, which is much more yes. significant. So that's not a uh, you know it's an apples to oranges comparison. Yeah, I, I understand. But so what, what are you driving at here? Are you saying that people okay, should be so, flying off the Earth or sticking to well, it harder? I'm saying that actually, based on the relative, uh, what is it, the the latitude of the of the Earth, you should actually be the, the the farther north from the equator or the further south from the equator you get, you should actually weigh more because you have less cent- centrifugal forces pushing you off of the Earth. No, you weigh uh, less for a relative. You weigh less. Effect. Yeah, the further away from the equator, you, you weigh less. I mean, it's it's a non-detectable to most people mm-hmm. difference. It's not like, oh, I'm going to lose 50 pounds by moving north. It doesn't work that way. But it's, you know. Why? Why is that? Do you know? Is there an easy way to explain why that, that would be? I don't know if I'm qualified to try to explain that. I My understanding of it from what I read in high school was like there's more mass under you basically to pull you down. To pull you down. It, 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 makes enough sense to me. Just like if you go to the moon, you weigh less because the moon has less gravity. Daryl, no one's ever gone to the moon. The Earth is flat and NASA isn't real. (laughs) Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, actually, they're, they're still trying to figure out how to get past the Van Allen radiation. Belt. I'm sure they, they are, Mark. Thanks for the call tonight. tonight. I've just had about enough of that. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. So one ridiculous conspiracy attached to another one. I was being uh, you know, 
facetious there when I said that, but uh, it wouldn't no, surprise me if a lot I've of the- ever spoken with that they honestly, tend to go together that honestly believes the earth is flat says the moon isn't real and we can't faked. go to the moon because there's a dome over the earth oh really oh okay yeah i've never that heard one. that no i haven't heard that one yeah there's a dome like a clear plastic dome or something like that i i don't know if it's made <laughs> out of plastic uh, but yeah, there's like some clear, th- like we live in a snow globe, basically <laughs> a really huge giant snow globe. And I still no, don't Darryl, understand. The snow globe is a globe. I, I still don't understand how time zones would work on a flat earth. Nobody has explained that to me. Uh, I'm so- oh, then I, I it- guess I should be sorry. I got rid of how him is it? That- could have asked and- him that. No, I've asked flat earthers that okay. before and. They can't come up with anything that makes any sense. Uh, well, but how is it that the sun sets in New Hampshire several hours before it sets in California? If the Earth was flat, it would set at the same time everywhere. Mm. Now, if you're going to say, oh, Uh-oh. well, because your perception of the horizon is different, then you understand that the Earth is a freaking ball. All right. Now you've made me think about what's uh, – now I have another question. for the, This is terrible because now they're going to – if there's more than one of them, they will probably call in. We had like uh, five of them call in on a Thursday one night. Oh, God. Uh, so where's the edge? And, and Antarctica. Antarctica. Is the edge. If you look at the the uh, UN flag, yeah. the Earth is a, a flat thing on the UN flag. And everything's surrounded they're, by they're Antarctica. They're showing you what the Earth actually looks like. That's why you can't go to Antarctica because uh-huh. it's the ice wall that prevents everything from falling off. But wait a minute. So does that mean that an airplane that flew towards Antarctica would then hit the big glass wall or the uh, plastic barrier or something like that? I mean, what is <laughs> what is the claim there? I don't know. If but you there, just there start heading west... In, remember there was somebody that called in one night... And asked, why are 47 countries uh, blockading Antarctica? Oh, that ridiculous call, yeah. Yeah, the claim is that militaries are blockading Antarctica because it's the edge uh, of the Earth. Which is ridiculous. There's well, no but, blockading then why Antarctica. Why would you need to blockade it? Then people would just go there and because not be able to walk past, and then they don't have want to go you, home. They don't want you to know that it's the edge of the Earth, so they're protecting the secret. Well, first of all, there's no evidence that there's any sort of blockade like that happening. But, uh, you know, how they about... They don't want you to know that the blockade's happening. Maybe the answer is they have a big teleportation device. And anyone who flies too far to the west will be teleported instantly to like the east side. Like in video games. Yeah. Like in 90s like video in the, games. No, not the 90s, but like the 2600, the Atari 2600 from like way back in the early like 80s. Like Pac-Man. It's free talk live. <laughs> I'm not going out over the network. So, um, welcome back to Free Talk Live. We're very confused right now, so let's go to the phones with uh, your calls and thoughts. Uh, Mark, in Utah, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead, Mark. How you doing? Hey, what's on um, your mind tonight? I wanted to, I wanted to uh, answer some questions that you guys had. I, I'm the guy who called uh, two days ago, the, the Flat Earth guy, and you guys had to give some questions about how time zones work and satellites and stuff like that. So I wanted to kind of clarify. Well, I know uh, how satellites so. work, uh, and mm-hmm. I've had some flat earthers say that you know satellites don't exist on the flat Earth. My question <laughs> for the flat earther is: explain time zones and why the sun would set in New Hampshire several hours before it does in California. Okay. Um, yeah. So the basic concept of that is that. Uh, as, as you know, according to the flat Earth model, the Earth is flat with Antarctica as sort of the crust around the pizza, so to speak. The sun and the moon are only about, uh, they estimate, about 30 miles across and about 3,000 miles in the sky. And they both rotate above the flat Earth in a clockwise direction. And so at the time when it's high noon for you is the point at which the sun is directly overhead. And midnight is when the sun is on the total opposite side of the Earth. And uh, but because it's a localized source, like a like a um, like a, like a flashlight almost, uh, when the flashlight moves to the other side of the pizza, uh, you can't see it because it, it is actually pretty close. Oh, so that's and how how, how close did you say the sun was? Um, Aris, 
Aristophanes uh, said that if the Earth is flat, based on his uh, on the no, I didn't ask uh, about Aristophanes. I asked about Mark well, in Utah. Saying, How close does I'm Mark saying, in Utah yeah, think about, the sun is? Well, using the geometry, I would say that it's about three thousand miles away. Okay, and this is based on just what some old dead Greek guy wrote? Yeah, so what he did was uh, he took two sticks, put them in the ground, and measured the angles of, of the stick, or the, the angles of the, of the sun, or the shadows on the stick, and did a calculation, and he said that, you know, if the Earth was flat, it would be 3,000 miles away. If it was round, it could be millions of miles away. And how large does he think the sun is well he didn't actually speculate like this this is a guy from like he didn't speculate about the size of the sun and is the but sun given, also flat uh so, I've been there uh, you just the cut moon, out I, is the moon flat this is the dumbest crap i've ever heard mark do you really buy this stuff or are you just trolling? Uh, yeah, it took no. It took me. I gotta tell you, it took me about four months of, of researching before I I finally had to basically drop all of my preconceptions about it. I, I thought it was crazy too when I okay. So you it, believe but, uh, that? Just I want to make sure I understand what you're saying here. You believe that mm -hmm. the Earth is flat like a pizza. That yes. there's so like how thick is the pizza? <laughs> We don't know. The, the furthest, the furthest uh, anybody's ever gone down was the Russians, and they went down about eight miles before their drill started breaking, and they couldn't. Uh, they couldn't. Okay, so at least eight bit. What happens if you fly a plane all the way to the west of the pizza? Our, okay, now you're talking about west. Uh, there is no all the way west because west is actually a circle because all things point towards the north pole, which is the center. So if you go straight west, you basically just just go in a big circle um how are uh, you going in a circle to... if the if the earth is not round because okay, the, so, the north uh, pole's in the middle so, so, let, let me hold yeah. on mark let me see if i can explain this in a way that kind of makes sense even though i think it's absolutely ridiculous so you, you know how you i'm thinking order, of the hold on you, you order a pizza and it's got that little weird plastic thing in the middle. I haven't seen one of those in a long time, but yeah, I do remember those. So that's the North Pole. Uh huh. And no matter where you are on the pizza, your compass is going to point towards that little plastic thing in the middle. Uh... So you go west, and you're just going in a concentric circle from the middle of the pizza. Okay, so what if I go south? Then you south, ultimately then you, then you'll you fly Antarctica. into Antarctica. the giant ice wall that is Antarctica, allegedly, uh -huh. according to the people well, that yeah. think that the Earth is flat. And my question, right. again, is the moon flat? I uh, don't know. haven't been there. How far away <laughs> from the Earth is the moon? About the same distance. Same distance as the sun. <laughs> so yeah. when there's a lunar eclipse... Then mm -hmm. the why the why does the moon not collide into the sun if they're the same <laughs> distance away? I said it's about the same distance, oh, not the exact I same see. distance. Okay, yeah. so you know how gravity works, right? So but they can't possibly believe in gravity. No, gravity is not a real force; hasn't been demonstrated. Gravity has not been gravity's been demonstrated constantly. Well, so, gravity, gravity is it's being demonstrated gravity right is, now. So what what yeah, prevents gravity, what prevents the sun and the moon from just floating away from the flat earth or what keeps the flat earth from floating away from the sun and the moon if there's no such thing as the gravity? Dumbest crap I've ever heard. Okay, so so according like well We'll talk about, about, about the theory of gravity. Is it because is it's on the back object. of a turtle and the turtle <laughs> swims through space? Are well, we all in like I some can, giant uh, auditorium like the uh, the Truman Show where they have like lights that are hanging from? Yeah. What's on know? the yeah. underside of the flat earth? Uh, I don't know. haven't been there. So how do you know that the earth is not round and why does it really matter? Uh, ultimately, what what convinced me was uh, like long distance, uh, long distance uh, measure measurements on like an ocean or salt flats and stuff like that. That, that you know, given the given the curvature of the Earth, things would have to fall below the curve of the Earth. And uh, there have been hundreds of experiments done on these on these extremely flat surfaces, 
and they and people do not fall below the curvature of the earth like like they say they do. In fact, miles and miles and miles away, they should be below, totally below the curvature of the earth, but you can still see them right down to their, right down to the, like on boats, for instance, right down to the water line. So the water itself is flat. I mean, and this has been demonstrated on hundreds of videos of people uh, doing their own experiments. Yeah, just some, you know, kooks doing experiments on the internet uh, doesn't really hundreds, count. Hundreds of as anything scientific, yeah. you know, you just you're obviously sure. well, completely, you know, rejecting hundreds of years of valid. science and uh, people actually exploring space and people okay. who are flying on airplanes who can absolutely see the curvature of the Earth. You just reject all of that out of yeah. hand. Well, Do no, you believe that everyone who's ever flown in an airplane, is, you know, as a pilot or whatever? is like some kind of conspiracy like in on a conspiracy no. in on the world's giant no. most giant conspiracy ever no uh because uh in fact you you can see a quote-unquote slight curve but that's actually a trick of your mind because you actually see it in arc uh you don't you don't see in a perfectly it's a trick line. of your mind uh, okay so yeah, are all the people who arc. have uh who have actually flown into space is that all a conspiracy are they all being fooled by tricks of the mind no, they're actually part of the trick. They're part of the trick. Can you explain that? Yes, the astronauts and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah they're part of the trick. What trick? John Glenn trick is the... in on the conspiracy. I want to hear him say it. What trick? Yes. Uh, the trick being that uh, it's, it's to convince you that the Earth is actually a spinning ball. So you do believe that there is a giant conspiracy out there involving every person who's ever flown... Uh, up higher than a certain height to where they could actually, you know, see the curvature of the Earth. Uh, mm -hmm. That uh, beyond the pilots who you say are not in on the conspiracy, they're just seeing things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, they're, they're just, so every yeah, single see. scientist, every single you know person who works in the the ground game of NASA and all the other space exploration groups around, all the you know SpaceX, the private space companies, all the satellite mm -hmm. launchers, all of these people are in on a giant conspiracy, huh? No, uh, the, the, it doesn't require a giant, a giant in terms of a giant number of people. Uh, uh, yeah, it does. Do you understand how many terms. thousands of people are involved in yeah. launching satellites into space yeah. and operating them uh -huh. and doing, you know, like I, the I, math, fig figuring out how to actually make sure that they stay in, in orbit? Or, I mean, this is just so nuts, Mark. Thanks for the call tonight. I can't believe you actually buy into this. Uh, if you don't, I mean, I, I hope it's just, you know, some really serious trolling there. No, I think he seriously believes it. It's unbelievable. It. I mean, it's just ridiculous. There's more coming up. Free talk.